Hello, this is a quick video for my art journaling class. If you've stumbled upon this by accident, welcome. My name is Vanessa Mary of Mary Kim Arts. I am trying to show my art journaling class here how many colors you can find in your watercolor set. So I have a simple, just eight piece watercolor set here, and I'm gonna show you how many colors by making a color graph here. So this video is just gonna be a quick example of how to make a color graph. I recommend that you make a color graph for any art journaling you do until you learn a little bit more about color mixing. It's a good idea to take that color graph and put it right in the beginning of your journal. It gives you just a nice reference for everything that you have in your color palette, all those colors that can be created with that simple palette. So to begin, I've made a graph. This is a good thing it's not a graph drawing class because my graph might be a little bit off, but it gives you the idea of what we need. So where we start is we start by filling in our top row with our row of colors and then reversing and filling in our other row. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling in all those colors. I'm gonna start not just going directly with my palette, I'm gonna start with my yellow and work my way from light to dark on this end. So I'm starting with my yellow in this square and then I'll continue across with all my colors. Clean off your brush really well in between each color. It's a good idea to have an extra cup of water handy. Watercolors do pick up the color of your water so you will wanna have fresh water as we go. And as we get started here, I'll probably speed it up so that you can see the whole process and then go ahead and do your own color graph here. Now, because I'm going quickly, you don't want to do what I just did there and have your colors bleed. Make sure you're not going into one or the other because that's something we're going to have later on. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, scoop out my color just with a wet brush so that I can make sure I can come in and make sure that's a pure green, not a green with a red. So come in with my green now. I'm gonna fill that square in properly. So just make sure, because I'm doing this quickly, that you don't bleed your colors together like I just did there. And I want these nice saturated colors, so I'm using a lot of pigment. Again, cleaning my brush off in between every single one. That's what takes so long with this one, is that cleaning the brush off, really making sure that we have fresh colors. If you have small spaces like me too, letting them dry a little bit so you don't do any of that bleeding. Okay, once I have one row filled, I'm gonna come in and reverse it. So that means my black is gonna start at the top on this row. Rinse in my brush off, I'm gonna move down and do the exact opposite as what I have up here. just be mindful what order you put the colors down in if you switched up the order from the palette like I did. So continuing to go down with my colors. There's a nice pure red. I'm gonna come back and darken up this red. Since that one's the one that bled over a little bit. And now that I have my graph, I'm gonna start blending colors. And you just match up every single color to 
that row. So I go across one and down one. The easiest way I find to do this, I'm gonna get myself a fresh cup of water for my yellows here, is I take my palette. I made sure that this palette lid was all cleaned out. So nice and dry and cleaned out. And I'm gonna make little dollops of my yellow here. That's that first color I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna make little blobs of yellow, eight of them. So eight little blobs of yellow. I'm gonna clean off my brush. And then I'm gonna go and mix each of these colors in it. So my first one here is yellow and black. I'm gonna take my black, mix it in with that yellow blob, and then come paint that in that square. Now, that shows it just a little bit different there with that little bit of yellow in there. I'm gonna continue down, again, rinse off your brush. Now I have my yellow and brown. I'm gonna come in, mix my yellow and brown, come in that square. And you can see the colors are just slightly different. The camera might not show it as well as I can see it in my studio here, but you can see that that shade just changes ever so slightly. So continuing on my colors, I'm doing yellow and purple. There's my yellow and purple together. It kind of gives me a brown shade. So you get a feel for what's gonna happen here. My yellow and blue, we know we're gonna get a green shade here. Now I'm gonna continue to do this, this whole row. So my next color, green and yellow, I'm just gonna get a lighter green. Clean off my brush, I'm gonna pick up my red, red and yellow, I'm gonna get an orange. Clean off my brush. My last one, I'm gonna do my orange and my yellow. And I'm gonna come in and paint that one in. Now, I don't need to do yellow and yellow, so each time you go, you're gonna have just one less square in your grid. It's gonna make just this nice little triangle shape. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and just speed it up so that you guys can watch that without hearing me talk. And hopefully this is helpful and you'll be able to do all these different squares on your own. Now, once you get done with one color, again, clean out that lid completely before you move into your next color. So my next color, I'm gonna go in and make all my orange little blobs. different colors that I have in this simple palette. 
Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you find it helpful. And go ahead and start creating. See how many colors you have in your palette.